What's up, guys? So Rocket League is having its first major gameplay update in years. I can't even tell you the last time that an update came out that actually changed something that had to do with like the meta of the game. I mean, maybe like flip resets or something. But this update could be huge. Let's take a look. All right, so if you couldn't really tell off of that very informative video, the big update is now we will be able to see how much boost our teammate has on their nameplate. So I think that this update is huge for multiple reasons. One of them being we've been asking for some type of change or newer features being added for so long now. And while this isn't exactly what we all were thinking of, I think it is a welcome change, at least in my book. I'm sure we've all been in a scenario where, you know, you have a hundred boost you slow the play down because you're trying to be smart and you go for a dribble you're just going to try and dribble it around a few defenders and maybe get a chance for a flick on net well your teammate who also has full boost he has no idea how much boost you have and he just sees you slow down underneath the ball and he's like oh my god my teammate has no boost he's gonna get a bad 50 or something and the ball's gonna go directly into my net let me just go ahead and take the ball from him everything will be great right well, this update kind of eliminates that a little bit, or at least that that's the hope. By being able to see how much boost your teammate has, that really changes the way that you can play the game. Because previously, it's like if you see your teammate grab 100 boost, well, then you can play off that because you know he has boost. But if he was behind you the whole time while you're pressuring on offense, you know, and you're rotating back, you have no idea how much boost he has. So this new name tag boost meter, I think, is honestly a really, really good change. And I think it'll help a lot of people, especially people who solo queue often. This is a good change for the game. Is, is it massive? Is it going to bring a bunch of new people into the game? No, but it's it's a feature that I think honestly sh probably should have been in the game, you know, maybe a few years ago, but it, it's a it's a welcome change in my book. And then the rarity name changes. Um, so common is now base. Uncommon is now sport. Rare is now special. <laughs> Very rare is now deluxe and a limited item is now luxury so that change nobody really asked for and i don't know why they did it um i had no issues with the rarity names but you know maybe they're just trying to change something because it's been the same for a long long time but at the end of the day i think this is a good update i'm i'm excited to see how it plays i'm gonna be playing it on my stream today and, and kind of i guess feeling it out because it's interesting. I also want to see if it's very distracting because, you know, seeing someone's name on their nameplate is one thing, but seeing a meter constantly go up and down, uh, in my opinion, might be a little distracting. But overall, I think this is definitely a very exciting and big gameplay change. Let me know what you guys think about it because at the very least, this gives me hope for the future. It means that they're trying. Even if, you know, some people might not love it, at least they're giving us a little bit of effort. And in my eyes, that goes a long way. You know, let's all hope for, for good things moving forward, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.